Hello everybody and welcome to No Man's Sky. It's story time with Alan Paul. Nah, not really. I can't do that through an entire video. It would drive me up the wall. Anyway, welcome to No Man's Sky, folks. Today we're going to do something I haven't done in a little while. It's been a few weeks, so I'm going to be doing a quick permadeath run. Uh, yeah, quick. I know. I know. Don't shake your heads at me. Uh, my, lately, my permadeath runs have been running uh, two and a half hours in order to get them done. I'm really hoping this doesn't run that long. Uh, so what we're going to do, it's the permadeath no starter ship challenge, otherwise known as the Iron Man challenge. Now, a true Iron Man challenge would involve uh, upgrading your exosuit all the way to maximum as well in the system. What we do in order to shorten things down, because with you know over 100 slots on your exosuit, including the 60 technology, it would take literally days of, of recording to get this done. We're not going to do that. So we're going to go through the entire uh, permadeath, no starter ship challenge. We are going to do it with the timer. I realize I haven't done that, so let me turn on my timer. Hold on just a second here. This one. There it is. Just popped up, and now I'm going to show you. So I'm going to see that lovely transition. There it is. Okay, so we have our timer showing at the bottom on the, on the right hand side. I try to position it in such a way so it doesn't block any of the text that pops up. That drives me nuts uh, when I see a lot of streamers do that. Or they put their own face on the screen in a spot where you need to see what the screen is telling you, so you can see what's going on. Now, is this instructional in any way? No, it's not instructional in any way. This is just going to be for the full out fun of doing a Iron Man challenge. So in case you haven't seen one before, you see there's no community expeditions right now. Uh, in case you haven't seen one before, we do it as custom. Uh, just use your arrow buttons to switch over to survival and then permadeath. And by golly, we don't want it to be easy for us. So we are going to increase everything to maximum. Expensive. Harsh. We just get everything up to the maximum. See, even the enemy strength is going to be challenging. We are disabling the tutorial missions. It will give us more items that we can use so we don't have to acquire blueprints in order to fix a ship that we may stumble across. And really, in any Iron Man challenge stumbling across a ship that's crashed that you can repair is the best thing that you can come across because it's so e it's so much easier. And then your challenge is over. You repair two things in the ship, you're done. You can fly the thing, you're done. Great. In this case, finding a large trading platform where we can purchase a ship is the next best thing. Um, and then being able to market being able to, uh, that is, market on your map, so to speak, drop a uh, base station down or drop a save point down or something like that, and then gathering up enough resources to sell in order to purchase a ship. It takes a little bit longer to do it that way. So that's really the second best option. The third one is if someone, like a trader, as you're running across the landscape, decides to drop down next to you to sell you those X-Class type upgrades, you can purchase the ship from them. But, obviously, that is not always the best thing because most of the time that happens when you don't have the money to do so. So, yeah, that's not what we're hoping for here. So we're getting everything up to challenging. We are going to lock the settings so you know I can't cheat, uh, which I don't. I always say be truthful in all things that you do, right? Well, even this is even this, though this is a, just a video game, I still don't believe in cheating, per se, in the sets. When I say I'm going to do it a certain way, I mean I'm going to do it a certain way. So, we got this at the maximum settings. We're going to confirm and start it, and let's get a move on on this one. I may explain a few things along the way, but I'm not going to go into too much detail on a great many things, because the whole point of this is surviving. Now, I think I've got the audio adjusted finally a little bit. Um, my voice, I know, is coming through. I'm watching the meter on OBS, and I can see my voice is coming through very well at this point, so that's great. Um, the game audio is a little bit lower so it doesn't overwhelm my voice coming through to you. Uh, it's also Eastern time here in the US, and uh, early morning for me tends to be that time when my voice is a little rougher. 
And I took that moment to take a sip of water. Go figure. Okay. We are on a hot planet. I like either hot or cold planets. And it looks like we have a cave right there. So that's even better. Um, we obviously aren't going to have anything. We got we already got an animal, but I don't have any analysis visors. We're going to need some ferrite dust. So let's go ahead and pull that in. And there are no 15 ferrite. Yay. We got a lot right here though so let's pull it all in we need at least i want to say 50 no no we're gonna need more than that because we've got to make a uh let's see a plate metal plate we got to create a refiner we're gonna need some oxygen blah 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 ah but that might get us what we need right there those geodes are very very handy sometimes they drop you some some pure ferrite and we need that okay Just going to gather enough of this as I can. Now we also need carbon. Uh, doesn't look like we're going to get much carbon from these guys. Yeah, that's not a lot. I'd love to find a plant. There's one up there. Is that... Yeah, I figure it's a rock. That. Salt. Yeah, I need salt. I need a hole in the head. What about these guys? Ferrite dust again. That has salt. That's weird. This is ferrite dust. I'll go ahead and take it. And we'll go back to that cave that we found here in just a moment. Salt. Well, that stinks. All right, so it looks like the only thing that's going to provide me with any carbon at this point is... those little... plants. Well, that stinks. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we'll have to get as much of these as possible. I would have thought it would have provided with more carbon because being one of the only things on the planet that gives carbon. And we need as much of it as we can get. I really thought that would be a plant, but it isn't. Once we get analysis visor going, we can start looking at some of the stuff. All right, let's set up this little cave here. And gosh, I hope it turns out to be a cave. Yeah, it is. It looks like we can get inside. All right, good deal. All right, marrow bulbs will come in handy if we can work with those. Let's see if we can get some things built here. Well, okay, we ended up with more ferrite, but that's okay. Let's get over to the multi-tool. we got to repair this with ferrite dust, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, ooh, we got two supercharged slots. That's a great thing to start with. We're going to move the mining beam over there, which I noticed that earlier. Uh, scanner. I don't know if the scanner does anything over there. I'll go ahead and do that for now. Let me switch those around. Because if I get an upgrade for the mining beam, it'll come in handy. And we definitely need an analysis visor. And we're going to need a terrain manipulator. So we'll put the terrain manipulator over here. So we need three carbon nanotubes and a dihydrogen. All right. Well, we can get the carbon nanotube, I think. I don't know if we have enough for it. I don't think we do. Nope. We need... 18 more. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. I know. I know. I'm working on it. Start reminding me of the obvious. I don't see anything in here I can use. So, very tiny cave, but hey, you know, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Let's go ahead and take some of this dihydrogen crystals. Now, if I can get enough, I think I have, yeah, I should have enough uh, ferrite dust, of course. So I'm going to create a, a uh, refiner while I'm at it, because I'm going to use the one in-game glitch that has never been removed and they know about it too obviously that's ferrite dust that figures um, and that is to create more carbon not carbon uh, dihydrogen with the jellies hey I could use you really uh, looks like we're using up all our carbon I really need to find something. I wonder, is our analysis... We, we fixed that, didn't we? No, we didn't. I think we can't even make a... Uh, see the problems you run into. 
There's got to be other plants on this planet. Yeah, this is going to be the tough part. Hey, sodium. I'll take it. Wow. No, that's ferrite. Okay, I think we're doing this judiciously. Okay, we need to get back to our cave. We take a little bit of damage, I'm not too, too concerned. As long as I didn't lose my cave, there it is. Well, I don't know if that's my cave or not, but I'll take it. Ah, we're going to get damaged. There's nothing we can do about it. Wow, talk about your timing, huh? And we found a really good cave by accident. Isn't that cool? Alright, so my temperature levels are stabilizing as it says. I think we have enough carbon now. Let's see what we got. Uh, 123. I think that's good enough. really need the salt. That'll get us at least one. We can get two. We can definitely get some dihydrogen, which we're going to make three of them. I want a metal plate, so we're going to get that built. And I think, do we have enough oxygen to build it? Nope, we need more oxygen. I know where we can find some. So, Okay, so let's go ahead and repair stuff. Uh, you first. And you, we can get at least that. All right, so now we can start scanning stuff. All right, dust. Okay, big rocks. Oh, we get carbon out of those too. That's handy. Dihydrogen. Okay, well, I didn't really need to. Oh, is that a plant? Okay, good. Alright, so we do have a couple extra plants floating around. What do we get from those guys over there? Oh, just getting carbon out of them. Okay. Love to get some condensed carbon out of some of these. Chromatic metal. How interesting. That is really, really interesting. Alright, we've got some animals up there we're going to scan. Uh, let's get the... Upper stalact stalagmite stalactite stalagmite. I can never remember. I think stalactites hang down, stalagmites go up. I kind of remember by the alphabet. Stalactite T tight is higher in the alphabet, so it's from the ceiling, and stalagmite M lower in the alphabet is on the ground. Okay. And let's get the stalagmites. There's only one primary element, but I'm gonna scan it anyway because I want to. You can't stop me. Let's get some animals and find out how many animals we have on the planet. Nine. Really? I wonder why that didn't char- oh, because I was doing something stupid, that's why. Oh, uh, well actually, what was that? Nope, we already got that. Okay. There we go. Okay. Pull back so we can see. Okay, we got a building there, but you can see by the Sentinel that it's obvious someplace we just really don't want to visit. We don't have the weaponry to take it on. I mean, we could get some upgrades from it and everything like that, but I don't think it's really worth 
risking death. We do have another building over here, though. We'll mark it so we know where it is. Uh, unknown flora. Ooh, yeah, you're handy. Oh, you gotta be kidding. There she is. I see it now. Okay. All right, we gotta head for our cave again soon. And yeah, let's get back into the cave for now. Should have enough items in here to to get what we need. I mean, we got really access to everything we need sitting right in the opening of this cave, including some stuff that'll give us some early money that I'm not too keen on collecting because they don't take they take up too much room. It's basically what it boils down to. Okay, none of those are plants I can use. Let's go ahead and get some of the. Cobalt, because we need to get that moving along too. We need some batteries. All right. So this this is great. <clears throat> this started out as a good run, even though. Pardon me. Again, early morning voice, right? Ooh, silver. Ah, eh, silver. It's not really worth as much these days. Do we have enough carbon? Not really. Let's go ahead and finish this up and gather more carbon. I would love, love to get some condensed carbon someplace. So we need... Oh, that was a weird view. I hate when that happens. This must be something in the way there. That's really strange. Okay. We would love to get that as far as the condensed carbon is concerned. I would really like to see about... And it looks like we might be getting more by having the mining laser in that spot. So that's good. So again, a great way to start the session. All right, how are we doing? Because we need one more of those. Okay, that gives us the one more we need. We definitely need more oxygen. Let's get there. Okay, so the terrain manipulator is installed. Okay. Except we don't really need it right now. We need to go back to mining beam and collect carbon. I get the timing right. Let's see. Yeah, we need the carbon more than we need that. Ooh, I heard that. Okay, how much carbon did we get? Now it's better. But where is that stink coming from? Oxygen. Excellent. That's something we definitely need. All right. Ten. Okay, so... How much do we have? We're up to 39. I think we literally need one more. Uh... So I'll make sure I have enough carbon to get my, myself by for the time being. We are going to be leaving this cave very soon. Would you look at that? An indoor farm. How nice. I'll take it. I mean, it's right here. Good. 
Yeah, nice jetpack boosts here in the middle of a cave. Fabulous. Maybe I should turn on my light. Alright, so we need a couple more of those plants if we can find them. Ah, sodium. Go figure. In a cave. Very nice. Uh, well, yeah, let's go ahead and grab the cobalt while we're here, because again, we need to make some batteries. Okay. Advanced mining laser. Actually, let's go ahead and just look at it anyway. So we can see what the secondary element is. Yeah, it's just dihydrogen, yeah, as I kind of expected. I do want some chromatic metal, but so we'll take these. I don't know how much it'll give me, but let's see. Wow! I'm rich. One. Now, it, of course, it's like a roll of the dice. You may get a few out of it. Sometimes you'll get as many as five, but maybe... Let's see what happens. I'm curious. Another one. Okay, all right. That may not be as worth it as I thought. It's handy. If I take 30 of those rocks, I can make myself a, uh, you know, uh, a base if I have to. And maybe it'll be handy for some upgrades I might get as well. All right. How are we doing on carbon? Okay. Definitely need some more oxygen. All right. Do not see any oxygen, and I don't think any of these things have it. Oh my gosh. Really? Now, I'm pretty sure the secondary elements from these things do not get affected by the geodes. Let's see, we have 47. Yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah, now we get some... Oh, we get some extra ferrite. That's excellent. Okay, good. All right, I think we have enough to make it. Let's see if we do. We do. So... Don't want to do that. What do we got in here? We are going to put carbon in here, but I really don't need a whole lot. Because it only takes a few seconds. So, we are getting a lot more dihydrogen. We're getting 10 more dihydrogen. So, you see we're getting 50 per dihydrogen jelly. And it takes, to build one, only 40. So it's an exploit that we can partake of at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and do that because it will make myself some life support gels. Okay. So we're going to do it one more time. So just give, give us 300 now. And done. Okay. That should be enough. And we will keep that in my inventory. So, let's create some more dihydrogen. I'm going to get five of them going for now. That will get me life support. Now, it requires 20 carbon, so I can only get three of these at this time. And I'm going to need a lot more carbon. So, for now, as an emergency, I'm going to just make one. Uh, for the batteries, how much do we have? Where is it? Five ferrite dust. we got plenty of ferrite dust, as we know. And we need ten cobalt. How much cobalt? That'll give us six of them. Well, seven all total. So we will hang on to that. Let's move things around in here. Uh, so the ferrite, I'm going to go ahead and put some down here. I'm probably going to go ahead and get rid of the salt. I don't really think we need it. Uh, I always like to have the carbon up there next to my oxygen. The hydrogen I'll put over here. I like to keep an eye on my sodium levels. This, I don't know. We'll hang on to it for now. Same thing for you. I don't know. Uh, I'll think about it later. Uh, let's move things around up here. Uh, protection. Put you here and you here. 
yeah that should be good that'll give us the option to be able to upgrade each of these if we come across upgrades all right we got a terrain manipulator we are lost and i have no idea how the heck to get out of here okay looks like it's nighttime i heard that where are you eight i gotta watch my carbon Okay, that used quite a bit. And we're almost dead. Alright. Oh, there's more over there, but I'm not going to have... Well, let me see if I have the carbon to be able to charge it up. Yeah, it's enough. Because if those give... Yeah, they give sodium. Sodium and oxygen are both very handy to get. Might as well just get them while we're here. We're only going to get 10 out of them, but... You know, that's 10 more than I had. And I may come across some plants... Well, eight. All right. So we got enough sodium to last us for a little bit. If we need it. Okay. Okay, we're at the exit. I want a little bit of extra cobalt. Yeah, I see I'm actually outside right now. That's okay. We're going to a building here. It's only 500 units away. I like how everything in here is units. You know, distance, money, everything is units. Oh, what do you know? There was three of them here. Okay, there we go. That should be enough for now. Now, we could get those marrow bulbs and refine them into sodium, but I'm going to hold off on that. What I'm looking for now is not only carbon, but I'm going to be looking for... Definitely not dihydrogen. We're going to be looking for uh, condensed carbon, carbon, condensed carbon. Because I think at this point, getting carbon is a pain in the neck. So condensed carbon will be so much better for what we need. Early game, got to take it. We don't need the metal because we, we've got plenty of ferrite on this planet, so that's not a problem. Ah, go figure. Life support gel. Very handy. Nothing found. Yeah, okay, good. Alright. Uh, we should be keeping our eye open for buried... Yeah, I already know about that one. Buried technology. And we already know the secret to that, so we don't really need our terrain manipulator to get it. Okay, we're running a little low. I need to head out. Try to grab plants on the way if you're allowed. They come in handy on any planet you're on. Because the planet that they're growing on will provide you with something that will help you along the way. Like this is going to be life support, so I'm going to go ahead and bring up my life support. But I don't have hazard protection. So we'll be boosting our hazard protection here in just a minute. But we know we have life support now. We don't really need the life support shells. Ah, oh, a drop pod. Go figure. You know what, though? I can run. Let me get into there. This will save me from using an ion battery. But you have to face the right way. I don't know why, but if your camera is outside the doorway, you're not going to recharge. And we're recharging nicely because it considers us inside a building, which is even better. So we could always use more room, right? So we need what? We need sodium nitrate. We need carbon yeah which we don't have enough of to begin with carbon fiber and a antimatter housing which we have just enough oxygen for one so let's go ahead and do it i need a carbon and i need a sodium nitrate we've got enough sodium to make some nitrate we only need 14 i want to say let's find out 10 we need 10 We don't need to put much carbon in here. So we can do the sodium nitrate now. I didn't get enough. Let's just put it in. There we go. 
Should take but a couple of seconds. Wow, I hope we have enough carbon to do this. Okay. Pick up the whole thing. And we're going to need a lot more carbon, so let's get it. Now the good news is we're not going to get hit by any storms, but we still have to avoid the flames that pop up on the ground occasionally. That almost startled me. Almost. Alright, alright, alright. I'll grab it because I really want the carbon that's in there. Ah, uh, do we have any condensed carbon anywhere? Let's take a look. Sodium, oxygen... No C plus, right? Some oxygen right here, for crying out loud. You can even see it. Okay. Really want this upgrade. All right. Of course it is. All right, I'll take it all. I had to think about that, sorry. Can't remember which one is an actual plant that we can kill. Take out, whatever. I mean, I know the, these are, but interesting. Anyway. How much carbon we got? We should have enough now. Okay, let's head to the drop pod. Yeah, I just broke my ankle. It's all right. We'll be fine. All right, we're going to recover. While we're recovering, let's get our carbon nanotube. We should have everything we need to upgrade. Okay, there we go. All right. I don't want to put it in technology. And I really, as you probably are already aware if you watched any of my other videos, I hate having a hole in the center of my exosuit like this and in the center of storage. We'll get this one next. And then we'll probably fill out these two over here, and then we'll fill out some of the ones up here. So let's go ahead and do that one. Okay. And we're just about fully charged. Done. Okay, good. Uh, life support. Let's get it up to snuff. 93. Excellent. Okay, I think we're in good shape. Multi-tool could use a good charge. Um, don't have a lot of carbon. And that's becoming more and more of a problem on this one. But, hey, we're getting somewhere. All right, let's take a look around. I'm going to get some of the cargo from over here. We definitely don't want to head that way. Which way are we headed? You know, in the past, I've always headed south. I'm wondering if I shouldn't head a different direction. We're at the North Pole for Pete's sake. We might as well head south for now. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's head south. Uh, like I said, grab these things. I could use a little bit of nanites. Uh, let's grab whatever's... Thank you. I can see it selecting it. Uh, what else did we get? A keen effigy, which is worth a little bit. Got some sodium nitrate. Oh, go figure. I, I really am hating you right now. Clearly not liking you. You piece of work. Hey, got a bird we can look at. Let's call it a flying creature. Two flying creatures. So that's up to six of the nine. Now oh, it could have been six pieces of eight, I guess, huh? 
Okay, we got ourselves a hazardous flora. Fauna, flora, flora, fauna, flora. Should be... There it is. Done. Okay. Take one more quick look around. I want to see where we're going. So we want to head in this general direction if we can. Uh, just want to make sure there isn't another building around I have missed. I don't think so. So, we do have some buried mach damaged machinery there, and usually there's buried technology along with it. Get the sodium. So, oh, and it's in a sort of cave area too. That might be interesting. No, that didn't help any. But let's see what we got. Because, hopefully it'll have an upgrade. Probably just going to give us nanites though. Yep, nanites it is. Take advantage of the cave real quick. Oh, there it is. So, you remember from that other video I did, and the short actually, um, we're going to see if we can't pick up this technology without digging. So the first thing we want to do, I'm going to adjust my settings. Toggle camera view, I'm setting to two. Okay. So we can do it on the fly. Oh, come on already. All right, we're done. On the fly. Okay, it says we've reached it. Can we grab it? Let's see if that works. Turn off my light. Alright, so this is one of the ones that are just buried a little bit too deep for me to actually get to. So, we're going to pull out the terrain manipulator, blast a little bit. There we go. Got it. Alright, now we're in a hole. I don't know where I am. Okay, here we go. Up and at him. South we go. Okay, so we've got... What is that? Cobalt. Phosphorus. Ooh, phosphorus could come in handy. We'll have to remember that. We don't need it now, but if we get a shield upgrade, that could come in very handy for us. I'm heading over here a little bit because I see a friend. Now we should start to see sentinels soon. Is that? I've already discovered you before. Oh, hello. Alright, we have a buried technology over there I may be going for. Yeah, let's go ahead over there. And again, we're going to watch for plants too along the way. And I know this building is we're kind of backtracking just a little bit. It's not terrible, but... Ooh, hey, look what I found. Get it while we can. Excellent. This will be very, very good. Oh my, I'm happy about this. Anything else? 55 condensed carbon. Oh, that'll keep my... Uh, my mining laser charged for quite a while now. Okay. <laughs> Win. <laughs> I love it. Alright, we're south. Take a quick look. I don't see anything that we need to worry about. Let's just head out. And we need to recharge. And as you know... It is difficult to recharge incorrect to do it the correct way. So I'm going to pick this up. There we go. Because otherwise it'll use up two. And we don't want that to happen. Pardon me. All right. Uh, looks like not everything has populated yet. There it goes. 
Sometimes that happens. So, we can't get any of that because we don't have the right mining laser for it. We need to keep an eye open for plants. Yeah, like that one right in front of us. Okay, we'll grab that in a second here. This is probably going to provide us with hazard protection. Or, no, that'll probably be life support. Nope, it is hazard. We'll go all the way up with that. What did we acquire that we don't need? Okay. I need more carbon to build life support. So we'll grab that as we go. Boy, oh boy. I cannot fly in a straight line today. I don't know what it is. I hit everything along the way. Anything, anything, anything. We've got plants over this way. Those are solar vines. They don't help me at all. Okay, we've got damaged machinery that way, but we do have some buried technology this way and more damaged machinery. Why don't we head this way? You know what I haven't heard or seen? And I, I mean, I haven't been paying attention, mind you, because I've been more concerned about trying to find some more carbon. But I haven't seen any ships. I've seen some of the, you know, frigates pop up overhead. But that's it. That concerns me. Last time that happened to me, I was on a planet that had literally no landing facilities. There was no trading, anything. And that was a bad thing. Okay, we've got some nanites. All right. I think we have enough to create a few more. Okay. Oh, yeah, and I spoke too soon, right? Okay, they're heading that way. I'm almost tempted on doing it, but I'm going to continue to head the direction I'm at. Yeah, if you heard that audio, that is actually on my streaming portion of things, and that usually means that somebody just subscribed, so I want to thank whoever it was. But it always seems to happen at a weird time. I don't get it. Alright, let's head back this way, which is south. Alright, buried technologies, damaged machinery, let's head towards these. Uh, the buried technology will, is just money, folks. It's just money. We've got fire berry. Okay, we need to get our thermal protection taken care of. Good. Okay. Have I discovered you yet? Yeah, I have. Okay. Buried technology. Got it. <laughs> that is an incredible way to do things. Alright, life support is low. We should be able to use one of these. Excellent. Uh, technology, technology, technology. There's one all the way up there. There's one over here. I'd like to rather go this way since there is also some machinery over here. Oh, and look, it's like right here. Can we get it? No, but if we go first person, we can. <laughs> I'm loving that. No digging required. So I almost don't need my terrain manipulator at this point. Okay, some more nanites. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, fire berry. I'll go ahead and take it. Um, I would really, really, really rather find something that will help my hazard protection. Hello. Excuse me. Sorry. Pardon me. Coming through. Disturb the local, the locals, if you will. Ah, you didn't see you. I know I saw you on the radar. I should have been paying more attention. My bad. Eat my laser. Okay. Where are we going? Ooh, what that? 
organic rock. Hmm. I don't think we can do anything about that. But let's take a look, because, you know, that's worth money. Yep, I got you covered, my friend. Keep gathering up the sodium. Oh, I know what those are. Those are... that gives you chlorine. And I'm not sure if my lasers can keep, is capable of handling it. Looks like it is. Oh, I'm just so fed up with doing that and running into something. Now, hopefully there's no sentinels around yet. Yeah, it's chlorine. Chlorine is actually one of the more valuable elements still. its I don't think it's as valuable as it used to be before the 4.0 update, but still, you get to a trading post or something like that, it could be worth having, as you can see, 300 of it in your inventory. And I see another plant over there I could really use. Stop. Okay, hold on. I don't have enough carbon. Uh... One more, one more, one more. Where are you? Come on. Give me some carbon. Carbon, carbon, carbon. I want carbon. Uh, do I have enough? No. I need four more carbon. There's some. Okay. That should be enough. That frees up some space. All right, that's all of it. How much is that worth? 60,000 units just for that small pile there. Um, this is only worth six. Bye. Um, we really need to get more carbon again. I don't need this anymore. My hazard protection is dropping. But this... Oh, life support. Good. There we go. Up to 54%. Good. That's life support. We'll keep you right where you are. I like you. I don't need Starship Launch Fuel. I'm going to get rid of that. I'll keep that for now. These are the what's worth the money right here, buddy. That's worth a lot of money. Okay. That's good. Moving on. South. 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 That's north. That's south. Okay. And look. Very technology straight ahead, along uh, with a, some machinery. All right. And we want to check out anything we can find. I mean, honestly, at this point, we don't have a lot of cash, but we do have um, the ability to construct stuff, so... Hopefully we can find a crashed ship. That would be nice. Um, okay. Nanites. Figures. Jerk. Alright, we're going to go this way. Ugh. Oh, it used two. And I got gypped. Good. Excellent. All right, we're in good shape there. And, oh. Three stars. Sack Venom. We can't get that anyway. That is in the wrong direction. I'm not going to worry about it. So we're heading south. And I still don't see anything. We'll head for that direction. That's a better direction for me to go in. Okay, good deal. Oh, thought I had it. Up we go. And we got part way. Oh. Ah. Always the last minute. Are we behind a cloud or something? I don't like to turn my light on, but I guess I kind of need to. Ah, the recharge tick forever. 
No, I don't need that. Okay. Oi. Oh. Bacon. Oh, I just love that. Is there okay no buildings that's heading in the right direction anyway is this life support yeah okay we have no hazard protection one there Go over here. Okay. So, all in all, I think, like I said, it's a, it's a pretty good start. We have a halfway decent system to go with here. What are we, about uh, not quite 50 minutes, 50, 52 minutes, something like that. And, you know, I know you're looking at the timer. I forgot to start it. Of course I did. It's been a while since I had to run a timer, but, hey, the length of the video should tell you how long it's taking, right? Back up a little bit. Okay, so this is one I can't get. There we go. Oh, mm, gosh, I hate that view. Sorry. All right. I need to find... I'm going to hit that guy real quick. I need to find a building soon. Because this is getting awfully ridiculous. Okay. Oh, got some more ships flying overhead. And of course I missed them. Should be some more buried technology over here. Oh, that's unburied technology. My bad. The glitch. More nanites. Okay. Doesn't happen often. Okay. South. I still see nothing. Off we go. Break the ankles. Keep running. All right. So, if you haven't tried your own permadeath run, I suggest giving it a shot. I really don't like you. I don't like you at all. It's... Frankly, I think it's easier than it ever has been. Um, the original permadeath run, I mean, you, that thing that broke my ankle there, that would have killed me. And the uh, whip that just hit me would have damaged technology and likely taken one of my pluses away at the top left. Ooh, condensed carbon. That is actually worth my time. Come on, out of the way, come on. I don't want to hurt you guys, don't need you. Nice. That'll be very, very handy. Okay, anything of worth here? Another life support gel or anything? Ion battery, very handy. Some projectile ammunition that we don't need and a life support gel, excellent. Bye. Okay. All right, south. We have a building on our left. We will be heading to that building on our left. Which seems to have some buried technology added too, so that might be a minor settlement. There is something I can utilize there. Ugh, if I can get over the rocks. There we go. Hey, some more unburied technology. Gosh, what a run, huh? 
We've got plenty of buried. We've got almost three, four stacks? Almost four stacks of buried technology. That's going to be uh, worth quite a bit of uh, cash. And it is. It's a minor settlement. Look at that. All right. Again, getting lucky here. Okay, we don't need the life support. But we'll take whatever's in your pouches there, my friend. There we go. Hey, look at that. Something I can't buy. Meh. I mean, it does have that. So, yeah, that could be worth it, but I doubt it's going to be affordable. And you know what? It's not a very big thing to worry about right now. All right, I'll sell off all some of this crap I've got on me. Projectile that I don't need. Yeah, see? One and a half mil. That's not too shabby. I don't need that. Uh, let's see. Chlorine. 87. All right. I don't know why I didn't get rid of that sooner. And the Viking effigy. There we go. So 1.6 mil. What can we get in return? Uh, let's see. Not a whole lot. Okay, seeing that they don't have a whole lot, that tells me that this system is a very um, poor system we're in. It's at least a two, if not a one-star system. So that's not good. Hmm. I'm going to take the chance of talking to him. Maybe he can give me something better than what I've got. Grab my multi-tool, barking again in my visor. Uh, point at the mining beam, charge indicator. Do my best to keep calm. Carbon. Thank God we got some. And several new words of their language. Okay, well, that was something. I was hoping for a, an upgrade, but hey, you know, I'll take that. I can word for gra, which I believe is gra. So we learned five words. That's what it's going to tell us. Oh, no, tycoon. Yeah, yeah, the money, money thing. Okay. Opponents, what do we got? Got a wiring loom. I don't think we're going to need any anytime soon. I'm not really too, too worried about it. Wouldn't mind the hermetic seal. I can always make one. I'm finding condensed carbon, so I'm not going to worry about that either. Hmm. That could be worth it. Everything else is really not necessary. So, let's take that. Oh, it got damaged. I didn't even realize it. Bet you, you saw that happen in the video. Fortunately, I have plenty of ferret, so. Alright, let's, uh, you know what? We can do something else with that. How much carbon we got left? Not much. Yeah, we still need more carbon. I'll hang on to that for now. Okay. I think we're okay. Well, wait a minute. What is that doing all the way up there? Get back down here. Carbon goes over here. We're going to put you here. Condensed carbon we'll put here. Ah, uh, why not? We'll have you join your friends. Okay, good deal. Alright, so I think we made out pretty good here. Um, don't really think there's much else to worry about. I mean, I wouldn't mind the upgraded unit, but it's really not necessary. So let's take a look around. We're going to be heading south, which is out this door. If I can get up, but out the door. Uh, some damaged machinery over to the right. Closets to the left. We do have some more buried technology over this way. Damaged machinery will also have buried technology and have the ability to give me... I think I've already seen that one. Uh, to give me something else I need. So I'm going to go ahead and head over here. There'll be some buried technology right here too. So And we're just about an hour in. That'll give me some increased standing, which should boost my standing with the Viking quite a bit. Normally. Nanites. Oh, these are empty, man. It's usually furniture in them. Alright, where is the... Let's see if we can get it in first person. I'm curious. Oh, yeah, we can. Alright. Uh, let's recognize. 
turned off the light instead. Yes, of course. Okay. All right. Back to the south. Got another technology unit all the way up there. Let's head that way. Don't see any more facilities anywhere nearby. All right. Let's do it. And we need that carbon. Oh, we got our first sentinel. At least the first one I've noticed. Ooh, a plant too. That's good. Let's grab the plant. Okay. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Nice thermal upgrade would be great. But I'll take the nanites, of course. Okay. All right, heading south. More technology. What that? Ancient data structure. Kind of worth it. And no buildings that I can see. Technology that way. There's that way. Let's go this way. And hopefully if there's no sentinels around, we'll be able to gather whatever's there. And hopefully it's more than just one structure. Um, is it inside of a hill? Okay, now there's a few of them over here. Sentinels don't like us taking these very often. As long as they're not around. And that was it? That was it, right? Yes. Okay, good deal. South, this way. I didn't want that, but that's okay. Got it. Okay, good. That was a good one that time. All right. Okay. Yeah. And battery. Excellent. Just used one. So, that's handy. Excuse me. Sorry. Didn't mean to run into you like that, my friend. I will use you. Alright, fireberries. Alright, what do we got? We're heading south, right? Uh, let's see. Gotta find myself a cave one of these days. Let's just keep going. I swear this game is listening. Hey, buddy. Let's see how mad he gets when I pick plants. He doesn't? Good. All right. Now we know what kind of a... Whether they're angry sentinels here or not, so that's good. South is that way. I do not see any buildings. Very technology, machinery. I'm going to head for the machinery because we really want to see if we can't find that upgrade. We can get a thermal upgrade to protect ourselves a little bit better, then we'll be in much better condition, much better shape to go forward. And we got some plants over here. That's even better. Two of them. Ooh. Which comes in handy right about now. There you go. Right? Always use the plants. I'm telling you. Not a lot of people do when they're doing the permadeath runs because it takes up inventory space, but you use it so quickly it shouldn't make any difference. <sighs> well, I got an upgrade for my starship that I don't have. Well, maybe we'll hang on to that.
Uh, where'd it go? There we go. Let's get a direction first before we head out. All right, let's head this way. Should we drop in now? There we go. I already scanned you guys? Yeah, okay, good. Stuck. Um, oh, we passed it. Okay, there wasn't a piece of machinery around here, was there? Besides him? Okay. Alright, so this way south. Sounds like we got a ship going over. Watch him. Hopefully we can get a little closer to see where their trails go, because I have no idea if we're hitting the right place or not. No, we've lost them. Okay, we're not going to see them. Oh, well, no, 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 there they go. There might be one right over there. That's good. Alright. Uh, hazard protection. Life support. Hazard protection. There we go. See? Use it up real quick. Gosh, how many times I've done this and I never knew about that. Very, very, very handy. Now, we already got an upgrade module, so the chances of getting another one is pretty slim, but... Yep. to the south. Got some machinery over that way. We'll head that way. I don't see any buildings. Nope. Okay, good. Grab things as we go. Uh, only problem with these rocky terrains. We should have some there's some technology too. So at least we'll end up with a little bit of cash. Alright, what do we got? More nanites. Yay! Where are you? No. check my inventory. Uh, you are hazard protection. Let's go ahead and use you. There we go. Alright, out of the hole. Back to the south. Okay, we have that much machinery. And again, I don't see any thing else. Okay. I'm fairly certain we're heading in the right direction, but we'll see. It'll be kind of great by the end of the second hour if we have what we're looking for, but hey, you know, here's the hoping, right?
And since that thing's occupying the screen, and it is kind of in the way of everything that pops up, I'm going to have to move that a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and switch over real quick. There we go. <clears throat> no reason to have it up there. There we go. All right, and where's my technology? Up oh, there you are. First person. Got it. All right. Buildings. Hey, we got a creature. I wonder where they are. Two of them. Why don't we go underground, shall we? That hurt. All right. So, I might as well let that climb while we're waiting. Okay, so how many creatures have we discovered? Let's take a quick peek. We've discovered seven of the nine. And the two are rare and underground, so the chances of us running across them are going to be even slimmer than the one that we just found. I'll take a look anyway, because I am stubborn. All right, so this is south. We can dig our way through. We'll head up to this uh, damaged machinery, I guess. All right. Use a little bit of the terrain manipulator to get our way through. So if you ever find yourself on an extreme planet, my suggestion would be, since I'm here anyway, my suggestion would be to go underground, and you'll survive a lot better traveling underground. The silicon stuff that you pick up along the way will... I'm getting killed. Yeah, you better scan him. He's bad. I don't like him. Alright. So the silicon that you gather underground helps recharge the terrain manipulator, so it's a win-win. So we could do that here, too, if we wanted to, but, yeah. With that. Organic rocks again. I'm going to hold off on that. It was pretty good, ludicrous uh, amount of money, but uh, I get more money from the buried technology, and I need to fill up those slots with buried technology instead. So that's what I will do. Can't quite get to the straight portion. Hey, we have a building over there. What do you know? Let's see what kind of building we have. There we go. Look, everything's on fire. It looks like just a campground area. So that's fine. That's fine. That's a good place to take a break, recharge the old shield, and look for more places somewhere around. I think I almost landed on him. And as we go, we'll take a quick peek around. Thank heavens it isn't a volcanic location with volcanoes and stuff. Last couple times I've done those, uh, I keep running into settlements or campgrounds and stuff like that that are inside the volcanoes. Whatever generates it procedurally, if you will, from the game's perspective, doesn't take that into consideration. I don't know why. But anywho. So, we got some buried technology. Okay. Okay, let's just go to one end and the other. That'll charge me up about a little over halfway. Go to the next one. Well, let's get this first. Alright. So not the most exciting one. 
What I might try to do is I might incorporate some music into this next time. Wow, this place is a mess. Yeah, okay. Is incorporate some music into it from like, uh, you know, stream beats or something like that. Just to make it a little bit more enjoyable. Alright, let's see what we got here. More battery technology that way. I'm not seeing any other campsites or anything else, so... We'll head in that direction, even though that's really the south direction I want to go in. I'll take you first. Okay. See that red plant anywhere? Oh, it's all the way up there. Never mind, I'll just go this way. Hey! That's interesting. Why didn't that show up? Um, let's head that way. I wonder if that's an abandoned building that we can get some, uh, whispering eggs. Granted, we can only carry, I think, three? I want to say it's three. At a time. Nope, it is a transmission tower. And if I'm not mistaken, that can help us find a crashed ship. And maybe, for the first time ever, it'll point to a ship close by. And not 14 hours away. Setting out. Yes. Alright, let's check it out. Looks like we got a little bit of sodium over here. Let's go ahead and grab that. Alright. Good deal. Okay. Corvax casing. Yay. Now, if this is a Corvax planet, and I honestly don't remember, I saw a Viking in that facility, so... Okay, this is actually a pretty good place. Because it's also got buried technology and machinery and stuff like that. Alright, let's go over here. I know, I know. You're anxious to see if there's a ship nearby, too. So am I. Relax. Okay. Just doing my due diligence. Want to get these first. There we go. Okay. And it is Viking area. So there it is. That gave me the upgrade I needed to get to Vi standing up with the Viking. Alright, let's head in. Alright, what do we got here? Now, this is the crashed one or is this freighters? I guess we're going to find out here in a minute. Nanites. Stop it. You should put it away. You don't need to have that out. There's nobody in here to hurt you. Thank you. Transmission tower. Alright, it's going to be the usual numbers at the very beginning. And the answer will be 720. There it is. Every time. Okay, so it's stress signal. We take a quick close look at the map. Looks like there was a building out that way. I do not see any landing facilities, unfortunately. Oh boy, how far away is that? Let's find out. Five hours. Uh. Okay, well, good to know. Good to know that I am not going there. I think I already grabbed that. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh well. And it's not quite in the right direction either. It's completely back the way I came, so... Alright. Grab this too while we're here. Uh, how are we doing on ion batteries? Doing okay. Okay. And... Okay, I don't know what happened there. That was weird. 
south. Okay, any other buildings? Sometimes where there's one building, there's some nearby. It's worth taking a look just in case. So, yeah, we didn't get lucky this time, folks. On our own. Now what I'm going to do is at some point I'm going to go ahead and I'll probably pause and or stop the video when we get to the two hour mark, which we are at an hour and 20 right now, and I will then start a timer up and show you how much longer it took to find what I'm looking for. But I've had the absolutely worst luck at, and I don't believe in luck, I want you all to know that, okay? I don't want that, cut that out at finding the things I need in a permadeath run. So they're saying I should be going to the right more. Okay, well, all right, buddy. I'll try to head that direction. Okay. Leave you there. Put you up here. Okay, we're running out of room in our exosuit real quick. All right, where to? Let's go that way. Can't get it. I don't know if I can get through this. There it is. There we go. Okay. Well, yeah. That got me a little bit of the way, but not where we need to be. We have nine, eight, eight, it took eight. Okay, good. And that, okay. Get out of the hole I dug. Oh, there is one over here. Let's go ahead and grab this too. Now I didn't see it before, probably because I was in that first person view. Uh, south. Anything. Anything at all. Data structure, I'm assuming? Yes. Uh, we'll head this way. Uh. There we go. Nice. Machinery over there. Interesting. That is really far down. I don't know if I'm going to get this one. Alright, so I don't know what happened there. That was really, really strange. Let's take a look and get my next spot, because that did not work out the way I expected. Okay. Sweet root. Let's go ahead and grab it. Yeah, investigate all you like, my friends. Ah. What do we got? This is for hazard protection. Let's bring my hazard protection back up. Okay. What do we have in our inventory we don't need? You. Definitely not. Okay. Now, let's take a look. I swear to you, I'm going to find a building. This way it is. So the way things are going, I'm not sure if I'll find a landing pad first or a crashed ship at this point, but... 
least there's a chance of finding something. We have we have find a, found a uh, minor settlement, so we know that there are landing landing pads around here. Okay. Let's go up there. I'm going to skip it this time. Because I think we're getting to the point where we have enough supplies on our inventory. We could always use carbon, of course. That one extra cobalt. Good, unburied technology. Two of them. One here. And I don't even have to go to first person view to get this one, do I? Sigh. We'll go ahead and do it. Put you up here. Take it. Alright, really need a trading outpost or something. Definitely have enough money now, but... Okay, we'll go ahead in this direction for now. Missed that one by a hair. Okay. Yep. Okay. Let's just sit over there for now. Boy. Ow. Is a cave? No. Okay. I want to see if I can get rid of that cobalt in my inventory. I just don't really feel like deleting nine of it when I, if I could just get one more. Yes? No? No. Okay. Okay, we are just about full. What are you for, Tassard? Let's get your hazard back up. That leaves us one spot open to put stuff in. How much silicon do we have? We'll give it two. Nope. Just want one. I do that. And delete the rest. Okay. Put you over here. Put you down here. Let's move you around. Do we have enough carbon to do this? One more. I need 20 more carbon. South, south, south. This way. Uh, sorry. I'm in the wrong. Can I get carbon? Will he mind? Nope, he mines. Ooh, condensed carbon. Okay, I think we finally have enough condensed carbon. I don't think we have anything to worry about for quite some time. Yeah. Alright, south. Take another peek. Unusual terrain. And we're about at an hour and a half right now. Ah, just love to find one of these permadeath runs where I can get out of it in, you know, a lot less time for once. You know, maybe an hour, hour and fifteen. 
Kind of nice. Aha! Yeah, you know what? I'll take it at this point. I mean, it's not quite south, but... Oh, for crying out. But let's at least check it out. Because the one time I don't, it'll be a crash ship or something like that, so... No, that ship didn't particularly care for it, so I'm going to assume it's not a landing facility. Okay. But, you know, building's a building. Maybe it'll be a minor settlement and I can get rid of some of the cargo I've got on me. Maybe there's a cave system nearby. I can grab that one. Cobalt. Wow, that's a big place. It's not a minor settlement or anything like that. But it's something. Usually they have caves nearby. Pseudo cave. There's the cobalt I was looking for. I need 15 carbon. I am not liking you. Oh, nope, that was for the battery. Right. Nope, that wasn't for the battery. Yep, life support, so we need 15 carbon. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. We got this. There we go. Finally. At least there's one more spot open. This is an abandoned facility. So what we've got here is the ability to pick up these guys. But we don't have a lot of inventory space. So I will just use this for now. Do have any plants on us? No? Good? Okay. Creepy, creepy, creepy. All right. Upgrade. Really? Not useless. So expensive to buy at a facility, but... Nothing. This was a very cheap facility. Uh, what do we got? We got four spots available. I mean, we could get some if we wanted to. I don't know. What do you think? Make it a little bit more exciting. We'll grab a few and just, you know, try to survive this again. Here we go. Hey, buddy. Let's go to this one over here. What's up? Whoa, hey. Wow, I could really use you guys at a different time, you know? Want to get somewhere? Here, over here. All right, we're gonna fill up our inventory anytime now. Okay, these guys are getting pissed. That guy looked a little gimpy. I don't know what that was about. There we go. I want to set up here in a 
let them calm down a little bit. So, what do we get out of these? Two, four, six, eight hundred. What do we get from a stack of this? Four hundred. I don't know. I don't know. Is it really worth it? This isn't really worth hanging on to either. All right, I think that's enough. Which way south? That way. What do we got? Looks like we got another building up there, so at least that's something. Maybe we can find something worth my time. They should be settling down soon. Let's see. There we go. There we go. Subsiding. All right, so we can head on our merry little way. They should be burying themselves in just a second. Seriously, buddy, go. You really uh, overachiever, I think. Okay, there we go. All right. Wondered about that. Uh, over here. Okay. Uh, if he's going to come any closer, I would have pulled out something and, I don't know, but slapped him or something. I'm sure I had a fish on him. Fish on me, I could have just slapped him with a cold fish or something. You know. Anyway, where are we here? Or 36. And we found another building. Yay. Itty bitty campsite. Can't even do anything with this. That's okay. It's another sto a stepping stone. That's all it is. So what we can do is we'll... If I do have to stop, I will just go ahead and save at a particular place like this. At the two-hour mark, like I said, I always do this for two hours and I give up. I don't torture you any further after that. We're back casing. All right, well, we got two of them now, so no big deal. Let's look for other buildings, because sometimes there's others close by, and I'm not seeing one of them. Okay, that way. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Gets, see, this is the kind of, kind of time when you need some ships flying over, because you're up higher and you can see further, so... Yeah, not seeing anything. Okay, that's still on. Alright. Okay, we really need to be going this way, so we will head that way. How are we doing on condensed carbon? 144, okay. This way. So we will not be... Hey, look at that. How interesting. I knew you were coming. Can't fool me! Except maybe most of the time. Alright, let's see what we got here. Uh, nothing, uh, and, uh, hey, look, more nothing. Okay, great. Look. Twenty more minutes of this, and then we give up. Let's see. Very technologies and nothing special. We've got a lot of berry technology on us. Alright, we've got some ships flying over. Hopefully they're heading in my direction so I can see where we need to go. 
No clue where they went. All right, they weren't heading in my direction. Oi. I hate when we get stuck like that. Those aren't worth more. I have an inventory full of it. Oh, crap. Well, kind of convenient. Yeah, why not? It's going in the right direction. Let's go ahead and go in the right direction, then. We'll just make sure we keep a close eye on what's above us, in case we find something. So, hey. Tunnel running. What do you know? Not bad. One of the bigger tunnels I've been in. Got some little creatures in here a little bit. The ones I've already discovered, of course. Hmm, okay. That was a weird noise. Da, 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 da. No? Okay, good. Let's go ahead up. I'm curious. Maybe it'll bend to the left in a second. I've got to head that way, but we're definitely heading heading up. Yeah, it looks like it goes back the other way. Okay. Well, that was a good look. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and blast through. Shall we? go a little bit bigger on that. Oh, okay, one of these. You will run into terrain occasionally that will not allow you to cut through it. I call it bedrock, for lack of a better way of putting it. Sounds familiar, doesn't it, from another game you might know? Uh, let's see, just want to make sure we don't have any buildings nearby I'm running past. Since we're underground and protected at the moment. Eventually, this should lead out. Yeah, well, that's okay. Oh, that is going to get really annoying. Let's head up and out. There we go. Alright, so, where are we? A little more further along than we were. Not like going through the mines of Maria. Moria? Moria. I don't know how I said that wrong. I've only been reading The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings forever. More times than I can count. It's kind of embarrassing, actually. Very sorry about that. Okay. So, we are getting really close. We're 15 minutes shy of saying... Okay, we're going to give up for now, and we can come back to it. Maybe we'll do a part two. Every time I get to that two-hour mark, though, I come across something that helps me out, and uh, then I end up having to re-splice the video and everything like that. I'm hoping I can see these guys at some point. I'm not as interested in the buried technology as I am in getting some protection here.
Nope. Hopefully I can pick it up without having to disturb anything. Yes. Uh, south. I couldn't see where the ships were headed, so I don't know if there's going to be anything down this way. Wow, okay, there's literally nothing. Oh, Alright, I am voting from now on that I never head south again. Because this is getting ridiculous. Every time I head south, I don't find anything. And granted, I was at the North Pole, but I think next next time I'm just going to... I'll head east or something, I don't know. News says no storms. At least that's something. I know I'm getting quieter along the way. I apologize. Because you would have hoped you would have found something by now, you know? Honestly. Entertainment value starts to, to diminish the longer you go without finding what you're looking for. Unless you end up doing something stupid. So we're going to check ourselves in relationship to the planet here and determine if we need to make a turn. Whoop. Okay, so we're about right there. We can go east or west and try to find something at this point. Because we're obviously not finding a whole lot going this way. That's okay. I think our inventory is going to be full. Let's see what we got. Yeah, we're pretty much just about there. Landing platform will be ideal right about now, or at least a trade station of some sort. A little ball. It's anything. A little trading ball would be great. Trading terminal. Right through there. Good. Okay. Boink. Maybe that way, but you know what? We'll head that way for now. Okay. So we've got something flying overhead again. It's a single ship, but you know, I'll almost take anything at this point. To the right. So, steep, sharp turn to the right usually means we're heading in a better direction. Technology 
Okay. Let's say the next particular settlement I stop at, whether it be a campground or just some place where I can save it. Granted, it's probably saving every minute or so anyway. Ugh, I hate getting through this terrain. And we'll save it as a manual save. Oh, you're killing me, buddy. Come on. That was pretty good. Pretty good. And looks like we almost passed by something. So that'll be our stopping point. Let's see what's in here. We'll grab this technology if it's uh, not going to fill up our inventory. Let me just make sure my inventory has got a spot for this. We don't really need the nanites, I'll be honest. Okay, here's what we're going to do. This should free up some inventory space, just in case it turns out to be an upgrade. Okay, so that gives me an extra open space in there. Okay, just in case. Yeah, I know. Toxic protection module. I mean, I'll go ahead and use it, but honestly, it's about as useless as they come. Yeah, I know. I already did it. Alright, let's hope this building is a trade terminal. Well, I got lucky there. I got lucky there. I was still holding down my jetpack when I fell into the hole, so... I also would have taken some heavy damage. Just wanted to see if we had... Okay... And we ran into rocks. Love it. Oi. Drop pod. Okay, well, it's got a save point for us. And it's so good that I went ahead and not get rid of all my sodium nitrate. Let's see what we got. just caught fire. So we'll go ahead and do this. Uh, sodium, we need 10. But we don't have enough room to really create a whole lot. Let's get the animator housing taken care of. We need some more carbon.
got to turn around or else it won't do it. And now we just need some carbon. Okay, we need carbon, we'll get some carbon. Do it the other way. No. This an extra spot on our exosuit, which as you told you before, I'd do it here. And that should get us what we need. So let's go ahead and save this. We are just about at the two hour mark anyway. Everything's on fire over here. I'll take a quick look around because God forbid I should be right next to an archive or something like that. And Yep, I don't see anything. Okay. So we're going to call it here, folks. Let's go ahead and do the save. I'm going to jump into the drop pod thing, and we'll stop there. So don't be uh, too thrilled by this run. I'm not as thrilled either. I'm going to go ahead and call it, and I want to thank you all for watching. Why don't we do a little something-something for the view on this. Oh, I can't even see myself. Isn't that funny? There we go. There we go. This will be the... Uh, this will be our thumbnail for the, show, for the shot. Okay. There we go. Click. So enjoy that. And thank you very much again for watching. Um, we will go ahead and pick this up where we left off. Now, if I do run across something, I'll go ahead and continue to play. This time with the timer on the screen which I'm going to go ahead and make believe it's going to show up now. Hey, look, there it is. And what we're going to do, actually, i tell you what. There we go. Is that a little better? I think it's a little better. So now that that's on the screen, we will go ahead and uh, get this taken care of. And if I happen to run across a ship, I'll have the timer running and know exactly how much more time it took. Welcome back, folks. So uh, this is turning into a heck of a run. Uh, I have a kind of a long-standing... No, I have a rule that states I will not go longer than three hours on a Iron Man challenge. And this is turning into that. You can see by the timer up there, I spent two hours on the video itself and then I've gone another 58 minutes and I literally have found nothing. Nothing worth my time or energy to keep going on this. I've found no crashed ships, of course. I've found no other minor settlements but the one that I started with at the very beginning of this whole thing. Um, you can see my inventory is just chock full of everything. And I am out of room. Out of room. Out of time. So I am going to call it. I'm going to say that this is a failed run. There is nothing else more frustrating than to go through one of these and literally find nothing useful. You know, I did find a couple of... You know, this told me that there's a minor settlement nine hours away, and that other thing told me that I had a uh, crashed ship... Um, five hours away, which at this point I would have been halfway there had I turned and went straight towards it. Um, and that doesn't always usually work out, so I am going to call this. We're going to say we failed at this particular one. Shame on you. And uh, we'll give this another shot another time. So again, thank you for watching. We appreciate everything that uh, you all do and all the comments you make on the segments that I've done. 
Um, but we're going to go ahead and end this in a glorious fashion. Goodbye. And that's the end. Thank you very much, folks, for watching. We'll see you again another time. Bye-bye now.